Intel silently launches the cheapest brand new GPU you can buy with over 500 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. It's called the Intel Arc A580, which is a cut down version of the Intel Arc A750, which is of course a cut down version of the A770. And today we're gonna to take a look at its mining hash rates and performance right after this. Welcome back everybody. So we'll pop into the, the spec sheet here on the Intel website. This will be a part of the Intel Arc A series graphics cards, formerly known as Alchemist for the code name. The model number is the A580 and it is on TSMC's six nanometer architecture. And it was just launched this quarter of 2023. Now it is cut down on the GPU side across the board with lower XE cores than the A750, lower ray tracing units, and even a cut down graphics clock down to 1700 megahertz. What makes this interesting is the total board power does get cut down a little bit as well, down to 185 watts, which could prove itself to be good for mining, of course, in the future. It is going to be PCI Express 4.0 by 16, and to run at full capacity or even at all right now, you will need to have a chipset that supports resizable bar for the Intel GPUs. Another big note about this GPU in general is there is no Dynex support because there's no FP64 support for Intel at this time, unless of course it's simulated, in which case the performance is not that good. But the real key here that we're interested in is going to be the memory specifications. The memory side is going to be is going to be a whopping eight gigabytes, and that is of GDDR6 with a 256-bit bus clocked at 16 gigabits per second, resulting in 512 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. Meaning that right now, at its current price, if you check on Amazon at 179.99, is the most memory bandwidth bandwidth you can get for this price at the cheapest price brand new out of the box which in and of itself should be good for mining if you're considering you know the old adage of mining which is of course memory hardened algorithms to prevent of course ASICs and FPGAs. Now the specific model I tested in this particular setup is the Sparkle Intel Arc A580 Orc Overclock Edition and I did go ahead and test a bunch of different algorithms here that we will get into. One of the big notes here is this GPU does require two 8-pin PCIe Express power adapters. So that will, of course, take up some extra slots in your Octo miners or your mining rigs, etc. And this particular model does go up from the 185 watt total board power to 225 watt uh, TDP in this particular case. So keep that in mind. This one does have a little bit more headroom for the overclocking on the core than the reference design. However, it does allow you to turn that down as well in the settings. This is a big note about the A582 and we'll have to see how it interprets later on when you can play with the core clock a little bit more, but you can turn down the power limiter all the way to 75 watts. Whereas on A750s and A770s, you can only turn that power down to 90 watts. Unfortunately, what I have found and what you will see is that 90 watts is still kind of the peak performance as far as mega hash per watt across the board is concerned. So while you do have this capability of turning it down even further, it doesn't really result in a better efficiency than the A750. The flip side of that though, is for the most part, what I am seeing is A750 performance at a cheaper price on memory intensive algorithms. So as opposed to the $220 mark, we're $40 cheaper at a $180 getting the same performance on memory hardened algorithms. And that is always a good thing, right? So let's go ahead and hop into it with Ergo at stock settings. We saw 119 mega hash a second at 145 watts, according to software. Yes, I do not currently have this set up right now for me to test with the kilowatt, but I will do that in follow up videos, especially as we get more support for these Intel GPUs. And if we turn down to 90 watts, we got 100.5 
eight mega hash a second at 87 watts which is fantastic and as you guys know on the a750s we actually saw even lower power consumption at the wall i presume it'll be similar in this particular case because it is reading about the same so we'll have to check this one out for sure either way this is still really good performance in this particular case at 70 watts however it didn't really seem to give us any better mega hash per watt as when we turned down the 75 watts we hit 59.72 mega hash a second at 75 watts so really the sweet spot still even on the a580 is going to be that 90 watt setting for ergo and of course if you want to take a look at profitability on this according to hashrate.no no at 10 cents a kilowatt hour is not profitable right now you would be losing about nine cents a day and that's going to be a trend with almost all gpus at this given time so getting the efficiency of course is going to be the most important thing you can do next we're going to take a look at ethereum classic where we saw at stock clocks 45 mega hash a second at 153 watts if we turn down to 90 watts we get 31.78 mega hash a second at 89 watts which seems to be the sweet spot once again and at 75 watts it takes it down to 19.77 mega hash a second resulting in software reporting 75 watts now of course you're going to be losing about 17 cents a day for ethereum classic at its peak setting at 31.78 mega hash a second however you know you have the ergo option to bounce to if you so prefer right which obviously here you'd lose less on that now there is radiant support for this particular card of course radiant we are expecting to get hit you know with more and more fpgas so it will probably be less and less relevant over time but just to give you guys an idea over here at stock clocks we're at 453 mega hash a second at 152 watts with the overclock version being at 539.79 mega hash a second at 181 watts which is is just turning everything up as high as it can go as far as clocks go this results in because of the high power consumption a loss of 31 cents a day so just keep that in mind there are dual mining options here between erg and radiant that we will take a look at later and if you're interested in that let me know in the comment section below and we'll cover dual mining in a later video then we have ethereum which at stock was showing at about 34.5 to 35 mega hash a second at 156 watts and then if we went to the preferred 90 watt setting we saw 37.88 to 38 mega hash a second at 95 watts which is you know gonna clock us in pretty good there as far as yeah efficiency goes it takes us from 326 kilohashes per watt to 397 kilohash per watt so 90 watt setting seems to be the best there is a couple other options we can look at with linux though if we calculate that in we're losing 11 cents a day which is better than everything but ergo on this particular gpu so just keep that in mind finally i did take a look at kapow because of the core clock intensiveness of kapow it doesn't really look like it functions very well at all there's probably optimizations that need to be done as well i'll have to talk to the developer over at bz miner to see what's going on here because even if we took a look at the a750 it was much better this one in particular you know we're looking at 9 to 10 mega hash a second at 158 watts really not going to be worth it you know you're going to be losing about 28 cents a day a little bit better than radiant but overall not that fantastic so what's the moral of the story well intel still needs more support as it currently stands because with the memory performance that we are seeing we should be closer to for example on ethereum classic that 55 to 60 mega hash a second compared to other comparable gpus on the nvidia and amd side of things however we start to see some really nice and you know numbers from ergo still just like we saw on the a750 as well as the a770 i think primarily because as we kind of saw with the lol developers charts there it doesn't utilize all of the memory and so because of that that bandwidth kind of makes up for it and starts to show similar you know hash rates to the competitors on nvidia or amd so ergo really holds up here with these intel gpus on autoleco 
Cosmos V2 algorithm for the A580. If you're going to be purchasing these, obviously you are probably going to be looking at building a, an Intel rig for Auto Lycos V2, and you'll probably have to sit around and wait for more support outside of that. While the Ethereum hash rate isn't too bad per se at 51 mega hash a second, due to the tweaking capabilities of both AMD and Nvidia, you can still get out ahead on both of those other GP, uh, GPU options. So just keep that in mind. However, for the price, it's pretty incredible. Brand new GPU, $180, and is basically on par, you know, with cards that are much more expensive as far as like somewhere between the $250 to $300 range, even on the mining side of things with less optimizations, all that sort of stuff. Let me know what you guys think about the Intel Arc A580 down in the comment section below. Let me know what other testing you'd like to see. What I'm going to be doing here pretty shortly, right off the bat, of course, is getting this in an MMPOS rig with a kilowatt hooked up to get our actual statistics here and make sure that it doesn't look even better than it already looks on Ergo, which I'm betting it does look even better on Ergo than what we see in the software because the A580s and A770s do as well. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells down below so you're notified when I release new videos. And I will see you next Tuesday.